I'm getting ready for the Vinox Amis, so I went and bought some dresses, just some cheap dresses, because I want to have a male character and a female character on the stage presenting together. And um, when I was buying the dresses, I, for the first time in my life, fully understood how uh, uncomfortable it can be for a man to uh, dress like a woman. And I, for the first time in my life, fully understood how big of a deal it was for the Wachowskis and for uh, Caitlyn Jenner and for a lot of people to come out as transgender and start dressing as a woman in public because um, it's terrifying for me to dress like a woman in my house. I mean, you have to understand, like my mom, like I can still hear her like disgust when I think about dressing like a girl, like I, I can still, it's the same thing with like uncircumcised penises. Like the thought of being with a guy that's not circumcised is like, it's disgusting, it's filthy, like it's, it's unclean. Like I, I can still hear that sound in my head. And I mean, Bono said, Bono said that like he, Bono has made a push for um, people getting circumcised also because it prevents STDs. And um, I think that's kind of what my mom has said in the past is like, it, 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 it's like you get diseases and stuff if you are, are uncircumcised. So um, I, I, I think that, that there's some truth to that, that it does, like there is a place where you can have dirtiness hide, but um, I still think that more than anything, it's the, it's the stuff I've heard in my head as a child that won't get out, like that that being gay is that disgusting. So I went and bought these dresses and before I came into my house, what I did was I uh, put them inside some long underwear that I had in my car um, and cause I wanted, I didn't want anybody to see the bag. And the moment, like my dad was like waiting for me like at, at the garage and he like, what'd you buy? Uh, no, I, these are, this is long underwear. This is what I have. And it was a very uncomfortable situation. Um, I mean, when I <laughs> tried on, tried on the dresses, which they don't fit, uh, except for one, um, it was, I had to lock my door because I'm like, I can't be me in my own house. Like the reason I'm recording this video right now is because no one's here. My pa my parents are gone. And, um, it's hard for me not to blame the FBI and the NSA for this because you're the reason that I, that my music was censored and you're the reason that I can't get out of this house. And the reality is that if, if I could leave the state of Colorado, I'd probably just go to California and be homeless right now because I just don't, I just don't want to be in this house, but um, I don't have that option because I, I have to worry about court and I'm not allowed to leave the state of Colorado. So, um, the reason I'm talking about this is because I feel like um, I feel like there's a massive taboo with uh, about being gay, even if like, look, the media says that it's socially acceptable. We all agree it's socially acceptable. It's not socially acceptable. It's not at all. It's not okay to be gay. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm gonna go watch the boys and see see who's gonna win a Vinox Sammy. I haven't picked a lot of people yet, but good things fall apart. Alenium, they're probably gonna be nominated in some way. I don't know. I'm still looking for artists to listen to, so um, it's it's not that easy to find people for the Vinox Sammys when you're doing them by yourself. It's a lot of work.